Today we're going to take a look at the remote client software and run a few point of sale searches. Today we're going to do a point of sale search using our Vigil remote client software. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and connect to a specific site that we want to look at. Uh, then we might want to go to our searching. Uh, you can see once we have go into our search, we have a couple options at the top, search, reset, POS data. If once you click on POS data, you'll get a little uh, menu bar that allows us to look at any items, codes, quantities, register numbers, values, which are less than, greater than, or equal to, cashiers, and our and or or, and then receipt numbers and in index numbers. First thing we're going to do is pick our time and date. I'm just going to go back a couple hours. We're just going to stay with the today's date. And I'm going to type in refund. We'll go ahead and click on search. And that's going to bring up any point of sale transaction on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one. And that should bring up the video that I'm looking for. So there's a refund going on. And there's nobody at the, the till, which kind of indicates an issue. So. We're going to play back through this particular event. He's counting out cash and nobody's at that register. So uh, the first tag of uh, event that we want to look for in the future. And we can look at, go ahead and look at that second one. And that's going to bring up the second event of refund. You can see we have a little bit more information by sliding this bar over. I can look at any receipt number by just clicking on the receipt. And I want to full, see that full transaction. I can click on uh, search for transaction number. That's going to pull up the whole transaction there. And I can click on uh, the start and the end of these transactions and play through that event. So this looks like a problem area. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set my marker. I'm actually going to play backwards on this event a little bit. So I make sure I get the whole event. I'm going to click on Start Range. I'm going to play through the event here. Go ahead and click on where it says Cash Tender. So the end of the event, play a little bit forward. And then I'm going to click on End Range. What that's going to do is just set my markers of the information I'm going to save. I don't need to save the full 42,000 images here. I'm just going to save this particular event. So when I go to my Save button, and then I'm going to go ahead and go down to Authenticated Video. That's where I'm going to save that information. I'm going to pick the destination that I want uh, from what I have listed here, or destination that I've chosen. And I'm going to list it out. I'm going to say uh, 3x refund, just so I know what it is. We can see we're already saving the data, but I can embed that data on top of the image. I'm going to go ahead and check this box, and that's what that's going to do. I'm going to show you that a little bit later on when we play it back. Um, if we have audio along with that event, we might want to go ahead and check that as well so we can hear what's being said at the same time. I don't have audio here today, so we're not going to select that. I'm going to push OK. You're going to have a POS export settings box come up. I'm going to just say OK because it's this the time frame of data that's going to be along with the video. Push OK and we're already saved. I can check to make sure it's been saved to my hard drive here by clicking on my exports. And what I'm looking for is 3x refund and there it is. I'm going to double click that. Make sure it's in the player. You can see the text overlay is going to overlay that full transaction on top of that image as it happens here. So it looks like I've got everything I need. 